Well, welcome to the Baghdad Hilton. This is the front entrance, our humble abode there. You can see a place where it's surrounded by sandbags and camouflage netting. It's a place to discharge your weapons. And there's Kem, our friendly guard from Fiji. Got another tour it over there. This is a, a bus stop. Here's a view of the gun turret, or whatever you call these things. And that there is the, the path to my room. Here come three of our, my fellow classmates. And down here we've got the path to what we call the DFAC, our dining room, dining facility. Notice the lovely boardwalk we have there. There's the entrance to our dining room, the defect. It's closed now. It's after hours. You can see that we can't bring our briefcases, caps, or hats in there. Now this is a view of the walkway down the other side of the compound. It's just the front half of the compound. And here on my right is a kind of common area where people can gather. So we've got flat screen TV and sofa. We have a barbecue out back there on Friday nights and on Friday nights they open the bar and serve cold beverages right here. And now we'll take a little walk. I'm going to cook there. Doing a little washing today. This place is run on generator power and they switch the generators. They got two sets of generators and they switch them over around 7 at night and then 7 in the morning. And I'll be right back. Well, at the end of that walkway, there is our exercise room. Further well equipped and air conditioned, music player. Here are the stairs to the Skyway Lounge. I'll take you up there so you can see the panoramic view from above. And here's a view of the compound from above. The back half is where most of the workers live. And then we have the front half here where the residents stay. It's a nice little trailer park. As one person said today, Never thought he'd wish he was living in a double wide trailer. <laughs> uh, anyway, and you can see that our surrounding here works. There's the airport up there. Uh, you can see a junkyard where a lot of Iraqi Airways stuff. A big hangar. The runway's over there. Back back over here, in the distance, there's a tall building and then there's like a green building. And just to the left of that green building, you can kind of see the tower sticking up, and we work at the base of that building over there. So we have to drive around the airport every morning to get to work. And uh, that's a military base over there. It's another, another place where we can chew from when it becomes necessary. And uh, more military bases off in the distance there. And that is... Uh, basically a look from the top of the Skyview Lounge here. I'll uh, take you down, down to my street. Here's a view of my street. This is from the uh, walk from the dining room, or defac, uh, down to my room. I'm staying in 37 left. So not only am I living in a trailer, but I'm living in half a trailer. And here we are at lovely 37 left, and this is home. Here's a little bit of heaven on earth right here. This is where I live. There's my door to get in. Here's my closet. Got the helmet up there, and we got the flak jacket down there. 
This is where I brought everything in and my luggage. Come over here. It's my toilet, shower, and we got the sink. Don't drink the water though. Come back over here. Got my laundry basket, nice leather chair. Here's my bed. Got a dresser, air conditioner. Over in the corner there, we got a fan. My TV. A nice little desk there with my computer on it. Luckily, we got the internet. And come back around here. Got a little sink. And I got me a bottle of wine, a bottle of vodka. And a refrigerator, microwave. And that is it.